Howdy chaps and welcome back to another um, episode um, You might have, it's been like two days since I've done some uh, Mainly because I got sick, not with Covid mm -mm. With a nasty bout of um, gastro, that was fun, that ripped through the family um, Now I'm feeling okay-ish So um, now we're going to tinker with the latest acquisition It's not actually mine, but I'm the poor sucker who's going to be working on it um, But we're going to give, if we go over here, we're going to give this wheel to clean the ultimate test on the most filthiest wheels known to man. And I'm going to try it with just spraying it on, because I've got three wheels to choose from. So I'm going to try spraying it on and just hose it off. I'm going to try spray it on and, um, oh, I'm in the dark now. If I go over here. I'm going to try spraying it on and see what happens. I'm going to spray it on, scrub it and pressure clean it. And I'll just spray it and scrub it and see what happens. So I'll show you the wheels right now. Alright, so this is the latest acquisition. This is the 50k, well this was going to be the 50k challenge car that started it all. But of course it kept getting pulled from the auctions. So I missed out into it. And then by the time I it came up I didn't have any money so this is actually the missus car she bought it for a very good price that's the main damage there's a little bit of the front bar but I don't think that's actually accident related and judging by that tire I would say we're putting two tires on the back of this thing because one of them is that one it was off the rim and everything and somehow I don't think the suspension got damaged It'd be a sheer miracle but that's the spare, but these are the wheels that we're going to clean today. They are supposed to be like that, really. Now this is 100% an ex-police car. Um, the easiest way to tell is you open the bonnet and look at the ID tag and it says FE2 suspension. And of course it's Prussian steel, which is the colour they all were. There's dual batteries in the boot and of course the paperwork says um, South Australian Police. So. <laughs> as the original owner, so surprise surprise it is actually an ex-cop car so we're going to have a few issues to fix, I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't have the sensors in the bottom front grille but yeah we're going to have a few things to fix repair the guard, replace the bar clean the car thoroughly, that's what we're going to do today because it is filthy and just make it a bit more presentable, it's really well kitted out too for a car like I mean the steering was a bit worn but the gizmos and gadgets in here are just mind-blowing for a base model car you're just like wow um, even if you had to pay retail for one of these which we didn't um, they're an incredibly well kitted out car for the technology that's in them for the age of the car I'm actually a, a bit of a VF Commodore fan myself um, I don't know a few hardcore Ford people would be like oh it's the worst thing in the world but own one before you judge it um, that's all I can say you might be horrified because this compared to a 2014 FG um, is a far better car I'm sorry but the technology in it is better they drive nicer um, the, the thing I don't like about the Falcons of the same age is the the sync 2 whatever the program is that runs the actual gadgets inside the dash are slow as a wet week um, Whereas these are nice and crisp, like the technology in these cars. This is the the VF Commodore was Holden's golden child. Like they, I don't know who was designing it, but they did really well here. And then they just pooed themselves at that last little bit with the ZB. Like VF Commodores are worth more now than they were when they were new. Except this base model one, but the SSs are horrendously expensive and the ZB which is the one that followed this which was that Opal car with the front wheel assist steering they are filthy cheap and nobody wants them at all ever so the VF was obviously Holden's last true rear wheel drive V8 platform car and that's why they're super sought after and you pay through the nose for them and I will get myself one eventually obviously there's the uh, the EJ it rained crazy here the other day and the XB and the FG Ute, they're all progressing. The XB's gone into hibernation because I need to get that FG Ute done and this. So, and then obviously that's going to be put on a rotisserie and done properly. So, a few things, but this is the next car that's getting done. 
um, and the XC wagon hopefully tomorrow I'll be back into that not after the last 24 hours was a bit rough on the old tum tum but yeah I'm going to show you this wheel clean now Alrighty chaps, we're going to try this. I'm going to go full idiot spec on this one wheel. Oh wow, there's a gouge in that tyre. Wow, this person really didn't look after this car very well. So I'm not going to read the instructions on this one. I'm just going to go full spray and pray. Uh -uh -uh. Uh -uh -uh. Get all up in there. All up in the goods. Let's see what a bit of this and the old garden hose will do with no scrubbing. Give it a mo. Look at it turning purple. Crazy. Actually, the container's leaking a little bit. Let's play the waiting game. I'll come back to this in a couple of mo's. Alright, i got the old boy working the garden hose over there. He'll turn it on in a second. And we'll do the idiot's method of just seeing what happens. Wow, it has lifted some. I reckon you really need a, a pressure cleaner for this. Okay, the next wheel we're going to do is over here and I'm going to wet it down first, then spray it. And then I'm going to scrub this one. Oh, of course, garden hose kink. <sighs> Life. Get it. Yeah, well, that'll work. There we go, now we're back. Alright, if you could turn that off dear boy, that would be lovely. This time I'm going to spray it and scrub it with a, a wheel brush. So we'll catch up in a second. So immediately I can tell you that uh, scrubbing it is the key, just by doing that. So let's see what a garden hose does now. Dog neck door. Ah. I mean, we might have to go over it a couple of times, but uh, that's quite an acceptable product, in my opinion. Let's wash that off the container. The container leaks a little bit, I will say, around the nozzle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a pressure cleaner because I want to do the lazy man way. Is I'll do some scrubbing and pressure cleaning at the same time. If you could turn the hose off, that would be lovely. Alright, we'll catch up when the car is clean. And there we go, chaps. Um, pressure cleaner, scrubber, and wheelie clean has gotten this wheel yeah, you know, better. I mean, obviously I need to rotate the car, drive the car forward slightly so I can get to different parts of the wheel. And some serious scrubbing, we got that to look way more presentable. I assume that this stuff would work better if you didn't let your wheel get as bad as that one was. But I can tell you that you absolutely need to scrub it in a little bit. Uh, it loosens it, but a pressure cleaner and that and that together all work mint. And you saw how bad that wheel was, so once I finish up the car, we'll wrap up this short video and hope you enjoy it and bear with me while I recover from being sick. And um, we get back into some good work. Uh, well, chaps, that's the uh, car clean. It actually looks 50 million times better. I actually have washed it, no joke, three times. And the wheels at least are 70 million. Um, but actually, no, I did them about three times. They were that bad. <clears throat> but I must say that it's cleaned up really well. Considering those wheels were like brown with brake dust. The tyres still look pretty well tinted but very shortly we will be tackling this mess which isn't actually that bad. I'm going to get the bar off, tail light out, pull that second battery that's in there out and then uh, go from there but also vacuum the inside of this car also vacuumed the inside of the car. If you notice a little blip there, it's because the radio was playing and I had to shut it off before I could keep filming. But it's actually cleaned up extremely well. A lot of dog hair in this car. Don't quite know why. I suppose there was a dog in it. Uh, took the ugly seat covers off. And actually they've done a fantastic job of protecting the seats. Needs another steering wheel. But uh, 
condition wise for a cop car and then an old lady's car it's actually really good <coughs> now I'm gonna leave the video there um, and I'll catch you up on probably um, a Falcon again but for people out there who don't hate Commodores um, this is one for you guys. I don't hate them. I think they're really really good. I will be buying myself a VFSS down the track when I have some money um, I think they're a very underrated car. Very very good. Anyway, I'll catch you next time